Because why should somebody from Uganda pay sixty dollars to enter Ethiopia, another African country? I think this is not good. We should think about it and we have hope in you. May God bless this campaign and I'm looking forward to seeing you as the new chairman of African Union called African Union Commission. Thank you very much. Uh, right Honourable Prime Minister, we would have been much more uh, members in this uh, gathering for Africa Young Parliamentary Network, but some of our members couldn't get a visa to attend this uh, particular meeting. So that is something that I hope that we're going to work on. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, please also, we have Honourable Amira Sabir from Egypt. Please uh, stand up wherever you are. I should go to the airport, yes. We have um, um, Honorable Latifa Hamisi Juakali from the Great Republic of Tanzania. A round of applause. We have Honorable Hamoni Bulombe from DRC, from Democratic Republic of Congo. We have Honorable Zanel Mag Magagula from the Estiwani Kingdom. Eswatini, sorry, Eswatini, yes. We have Honorable Home for Epiphany from Benin. We have Honorable Abebo Desaleu uh, Daktari from Ethiopia. We have Honorable Abratim Bata PhD from Ethiopia. Uh, we have Honorable Bethlehem Lucky from Ethiopia. Honorable Kemal Hashi from Ethiopia. Honorable Arare Masisa from Ethiopia. Honorable Bahambula Prince Batrand from Congo Brazzaville. And we have the minister who had been introduced earlier. Right, Honorable Raila Odinga. As young people of Africa, we admire your charisma. We admire your memory. We admire you as a body of language. We admire your clarity of our presence. And you have no doubt of your vision for the future of Africa. That is why we support you. As I wind up, ladies and gentlemen, I also take this time to condemn and hopefully that we shall all in our respective countries condemn the femicides that have been happening across the country. We've seen young women being butchered and we must stand firm and end this femicide against our mothers, against our sisters, against our wives. There is no reason why anybody should kill a woman. Whether she cheats on you, whether she leaves you, whatever she does, there is no reason why they should be battered. Even murderers have a chance to be had in a court of law. Let us stop the murdering of our sisters, our mothers, and our wives. Thank you, and God bless you. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to...